Did you know the US government once convinced 400 black men they were getting free healthcare, then watched them die for science? In 1932, rural Alabama sharecroppers were told they had bad blood and would receive free treatment. They lined up eagerly. Free medical care was unheard of for poor black families. But there was no treatment. The public health service was studying untreated syphilis. For 40 years, doctors lied to these men while documenting their slow deaths. When penicillin was discovered as a cure, they deliberately withheld it. Painful spinal taps were disguised as special free treatments. Families watched their fathers go blind, lose their minds, and waste away. The doctors took detailed notes on every symptom, every stage of suffering. In 1972, whistleblower Peter Buxton finally exposed the truth. 128 men had died. Their families never knew why. This wasn't some rogue experiment. It was government policy that continued through the entire civil rights era. The Tuskegee study destroyed trust in public health that persists today.